Hi there. All right, today I'm going to show you how to remove uh, orange peel on the paintwork. Basically, um, orange peel is something like what you see here. Okay, uh, it's like a wavy texture on the paintwork and uh, this thing will actually deteriorate the gloss. All right, so you want to make it as flat, as smooth as possible and gloss will be enhanced greatly. Uh, okay, a couple of years back, we actually shared a video on how to do it. Uh, more like an introduction, but uh, I did not go to the in-depth of it. So this time around, I'll guide you through step by step. Right, so um, stay tuned. Okay, now conventionally to remove orange peel, you need uh, tons of sandpaper. All right, probably start with thousand to sand it down first, and then use two thousand to sand it again, and then only you start buffing with the rotary polisher. Uh, da, 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 it's a very tedious job. So sandpaper, you don't need them anymore. All right. <laughs> so what you need now is actually a uh, Perfect Fifty, our fast cut compound designed to remove orange peel with the rotary. Uh, you need to pair it with a denim pad. Uh, use a 6 inch vacuum pad to hold it, a uh, rotary polisher, and some uh, tapes. All right. Now, why do we use denim pads? Right? So, um, example, there are many other pads in the market. You have foam, you have wool. Now, okay, so orange peel is something like this. It's like waves, right? Imagine this, waves. And uh, if you were to use a foam, right? So, the foam will actually sink down. It's a bit too soft. It will sink down. Even the wool, it will also sink down. So, it can't really abrade from top down, you will level it, uh, you will actually just reduce it like evenly, so you still see the wavy texture. However, the denim pad, it's um, flat and uh, non-porous, so it will abrade from top down, right? So hence, it's able to remove orange peel, right? So, yep, um, but actually, regarding the sandpapers, you still need them. I mean, if there's dust nips or runs or heavy orange peel, yeah, you need the sandpaper, but other than that, generally, for orange peel, uh, the denim and the compound will be good. Okay, um, before we begin, it's important that we tape off things that we don't want to hit. Like, okay, like, uh, like, um, uh, sorry, uh, unpainted plastics, right, like this. You don't want to get your polish there, right, so you take it off. Even like pr protruding edges, such as this, right, you don't want it to hit it, right. Some doors, they're actually uneven. Right, some a bit higher, so when you go over, you might hit and you might burn this side. So you actually tape it off. Then when you're polishing this side, you can remove the tape and put it on this side. Right. So uh, these are some precautions that you need to take uh, before you do. Uh, this is actually not as dangerous as it seems, uh, just that as long as you know how to handle the rotary polisher, you'll be fine. One more thing, uh, if you are using a new pad, right, you have to prime it first. Right. So we'll normally we'll take a bit of a uh, compound, Alright, prime it, alright, spread it like how you would spread the bread. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, because basically you don't want the pad without any abrasives to hit the surface, it will be a little bit aggressive. So you prime it evenly like this, alright, keep it saturated. Right. You don't need to do this if it's a used pad or a seasoned pad. Right? You only use this if it's new. You need, you need to do this if it's new. All right, something like this. Okay. And uh, we're good to go. Yeah, so I've uh, transferred uh, from, from here into a dispenser and uh, so I can dispense it easier. And I've also taped this panel in half to show you a 50-50 comparison. Yep, so let's go. Okay. Probably need about this much of product, alright. And normally I will work at a small section at a time, something like this, alright. Um, as usual, speed one, to spread the polish, and uh, I'll wrap it up when I spread it to the place that I want to polish. So basically, you will use uh, reflections or if you have fluorescent tubes as a guideline. Now right now, you can actually see that the fluorescent tube is actually um, straighter, right? It's uh, compared, to, compared to a non-polished panel, it would be slightly wavier, right? Can you see it? So 
Yeah, but you can see a slight haze that is actually the swirls created by the denim pads and the compound. You don't have to worry about that. You can get that off with a fold-up step after that. Right. So this is the guideline. This is good. And I will move on to the next, to the next section. Right. Remember for small little edges like this, or little curve, do not pressure it too hard. Right. On flat panels, you want to apply a bit of pressure. Right. My working speed is actually about 1,004 RPMs. Okay, um, if you see after the first pass and there are still some orange peel left, you can actually go for a second pass and, uh, and see if you can actually level it some more. Um, it's a personal habit whereby when I go to a slightly uh, tighter areas, I would lower down my rev, uh, my speed, so that I do not uh, overwork it. Right, and then on flat panels, I will go faster. Uh, but that is actually up to you. Alright, like this, I will normally go very slow. I go about speed one and one and a half. Okay, so um, there you go. Uh, I've done, I've completed the first step, which is the leveling process. Uh, okay, unlike sanding, after sanding, it's a very hazy finish. This one is about 80 or 70 percent glossy. So uh, the remaining 30% I would bring in the gloss up by using a purple foam wool or a wool pad depending on the paintwork. Okay, so here's the 50-50 shot. As you can see on my right, there's a lot of orange peel. And on the left, it's well leveled. Alright, so uh, like I said previously, use the fluorescent tubes as a guideline. So over here, oopsie, wavy, 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 wavy. All right, and over here is straight. Yeah. So in, if you were to do this for your whole car, it will look start astonishingly. Um, yeah, it will just look fantastic. All right. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but definitely it's well worth it. All right. So technically, uh, the denim pads and the compound is good enough to remove orange peel but it will leave behind some light swirl marks right depending on paint work depending on color some more visible some less visible so it will leave swirl marks behind so um, it's natural that you will use a polish with a wool pad and then follow up by a, a, a glaze and a polishing or a soft pad to finish up the rest of it okay, I did not show the whole system uh, in this video as mainly my idea is to to share with you how to remove orange peel and that is done in a single step with the uh, denim pad and the uh, compound. Okay, all right, masking tape. All right, once you are, once you finish using, don't throw the whole thing away. You will have this. All right, this is actually a very nifty tool where I use this to clean my pads. All right, so pads intact. Spin it on. All right, rev it up to about speed three or four. Right, and we are good to go. Right, for pads like this, you don't have to wash it completely. You want some of the abrasives there. I mean, on your next use, you can just use it off. You don't have to clean it and uh, sun it or whatever. Just this is good. You can store it and you can use it for your next time. All right. So um, uh, that's all for my video today. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and uh, remember to subscribe to our channel for more tips coming your way. Till next time. Bye.